Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can create a static site with Angular or how we can pre-render our Angular application and we will also see how we can deploy our application to the Netlify platform. So if you see here we have this static site created with Angular. So if I go to home, users and todos, you can see the content here. But the main thing here is if I go to the source of this application, you can see the all content of this application is rendered or pre-rendered. Okay, so that means the search engine can directly crawl through this content. So this is the application running on my local machine. And if I hit control U or I view the source here, you can see inside a typical Angular application, you will only get this app root. So this is not good for search engines search engines won't be able to crawl through this content so let's see how we can pre-render this application let's start by creating a new angular project so we can type ng new and then the name of the application so i will name it ng static site okay and then we can hit enter here and then yes, we want to add the routing and then we will select SCSS for the styles. So now this will go ahead and create our Angular application and now it is installing the dependencies. So it might take some time. So I will be back when it finishes. Now the project is created. So we can go ahead and open the project inside the editor. So I am using Visual Studio code here. So we can start by running the project. So we can open the integrated terminal here and then we can type ng s dash o. So that corresponds to ng serve dash dash open. So this will build our project for the first time and then it will open it inside the browser. So this is how the default Angular application looks like. So if you open the source for this application, so if I enter control U, so this will open the source code here. So you can see we are only getting this app root here and we are not getting any content that we see here. So this is a default behavior of Angular and this is not good for the SEO. So if you want to optimize your application for the search engine, uh, there are a couple of ways so you can either do server side rendering or you can do pre-rendering and in this video we will see how we can do pre-rendering and create the static site of our application so maybe let's close that and let's go back to the editor here and let's create new terminal here so we can generate a couple of components so let's generate uh, users component first so we will add ng generate component or we can do C and we can add users so now if we go to source app and then users we can see our users component here and now we can go to app routing component or app routing module.ts and here we can define our routes so we can go here and maybe let's add a path and we can add users and here we can add component and the component we want to load is users component okay and now if i save it and go back to the browser and in here we can go to slash users and maybe if we scroll down at the bottom you can see we are getting this users works so that means when we go to our users page we are seeing this users work component and now as we are on it, let's generate a lazy loading component. So we can do ng generate module and this time we want to generate to do's and after that we have to pass route. So the route we want to go to is to do's and then we have to pass in the app module. So we can do dash dash module and then this will be equal to app modules because we want to import it inside of the app module so now i will hit enter here and then this will go ahead and generate the lazy loading module or the component for us so now we can close the terminal here so 
this time you can see this has automatically added the path inside of app routing module.ts so we can save it here and uh, then we can go back to the browser and if i hit to do's and i scroll down you can see we are getting to do's works so that's okay so now maybe let's add the navigation inside of our app component.html here so maybe what i can do is maybe let's select everything and maybe i can deselect this okay and uh, here i can add simple ul and an li okay and here i can add maybe users and the next one will be uh so that will be to do's okay maybe let's add one more for the home okay so now for the home we want to go to we can add ng router attribute and here we can add just slash here okay we don't need that and for the users we can add ng router attribute and uh, here we can go to users okay and for the to do's we can go to to do's and we can remove that okay and if you're wondering how i am getting this ng and then the snippets there so i am using the extension called angular snippets so you can download it from the vs code extensions and now if i go back to the browser here you can see if i click on users we are getting users works and if i click on to do's we are getting to do's works and if i hit home you can see we are not getting anything here because we don't have anything inside of our app component.html so maybe as we are on it we can actually add uh, h1 here so maybe that can be angular static site okay so what actually we can do is maybe let's add uh, some styles for our navigation so i will add class equal to navigation okay and i hit save here so you can do ul navigation here and here we can use display flex so you don't have to do actually css here so maybe just uh, take it as a reference so we will be seeing shortly how we can generate the static site with it and uh, then we can use the li as we are using scss or sas we can nest our styles and uh, here we can do list style type none okay and maybe let's add the background for our ul okay so i can actually add uh, maybe let's add yellow so i will hit save here and now if i go back so you can see we are getting this home users and then to do's so what i can do is maybe let's add a couple of more styles here so here inside of our ul here inside of display flex we can do uh, justify content space between okay so i will actually add that style and inside of li i can do text transform uppercase okay and then font weight bold okay and maybe let's add a padding here of one rem okay and uh, maybe i will add text decoration underline so now this looks much better so i will actually copy this code and uh, then i will paste it here and i had added something to the ul so we can actually copy that and uh, here we can paste it okay and now if i go back to the browser uh, you can see this looks much better we are getting home users and then to do's so what else i can do is maybe uh, let's uh, maybe center this h1 so we can add h1 text align center okay 
and uh, maybe let's add something to our users component so i will add the div here and here i can say maybe let's use h2 here users component and then here we can add paragraph so i will add maybe lorem text here and uh, maybe let's add ul li maybe three and one two and three okay so now if i go back to the browser and i hit users you can see we are getting this inside of the users component and uh, maybe let's add something inside of to do's because currently we are only getting to do's works so i will go to users component and maybe i will copy that not cut it and i will go to to do's component.html and i will paste it here so i will add to do's component maybe i will add a couple of paragraphs here okay and i go back here you can see in the to do's we are getting this and inside of the users we are getting this users so you can think of it as users all right and now the best part how we can pre-render our application so that we can host it on any static site hosting and then this will also be optimized for the search engine so i will be using a library or the package for angular called angular pre-render so you can use this link on the npm or if you scroll down here you can click on this github and here you can see the library or the package and now here you can see all the instructions that you need to follow so these are also available on the npm so we will actually use that so maybe let's close that and now we can go to our editor and inside of the terminal here so maybe let's clear it out and first i will generate the universal project so i can add ng generate universal and then i will add this attribute client project and here you have to give the application name so here you can see our application name is ng static site so i will add that ng static site okay so this might take some time and once this is done we can build our application so actually let's close the open editors here so you can see now we can add ng build so in a second this will generate a disk directory here inside of the explorer here and inside of the disk directory we will have the application that we can upload to the server but that will be not pre-rendered so i can show it so here you can see uh, we we will be getting the index.html and all these javascript files so once this is done uh, we can see here we are getting this index.html here okay so in the angular application that is not pre-rendered we will be getting only this index.html file and uh, if i click on this index.html you can see we are getting this app root here and if i upload this directory so this one to any hosting so you won't be getting the results that are optimized for this uh, maybe search engine okay so now to do the pre-rendering stuff what we can do is so maybe let's open this and we can first run the server so we can do ng run and uh, then we have to add the application name so that will be ng static site so this name and after that we can add colon server so this command is only available because in the previous step we have installed this universal to our project okay so now this might take some time so yeah that's finished and now the next step is we can use our angular pre-render library so we can actually use npx so there are a couple of ways you can use so you can use it or install it as a dev dependencies dev dependency and then you can use it like angular pre-render okay and i am not 
maybe using it as a dev dependency so now what i can do is i can use npx so this way you don't have to download this so now we can run npx angular pre-render okay and now i can hit enter and maybe in a couple of seconds or maybe depending upon the application size so this will pre-render it and we will get this ng static site with all our routes built in so now in the console you can see our routes are rendered correctly so users and then to do so if i go to users so maybe let's close the terminal here and if i go to users and index.html you can see on the top we have this styles that we have defined in the users okay for the users actually and then here in the body you can see we are getting the content here so now when we push this site or deploy this site to any hosting so search engine will be able to crawl the content now to see the application or the pre-rendered application in the production we can host it on netlify so if i right click here and reveal in explorer and here we can see we are in the explorer so we can actually upload this folder so i can go to netlify here okay and then i can open this explorer and uh, then we can actually drag this here okay so this will upload our application and then in a couple of minutes or seconds we will get this url so we have this url and uh, now if i click here okay so you can see the application here so if i hit users you can see we are getting this users component and if i hit to do's we are getting this to do's content so now see what happens if i hit control u or view the source here you can see we are rendering all our content here so here you can see all the content okay and if i go to maybe users and i hit control u here so again you will be able to see all the content here so now the search engine will be able to crawl through this content so that's how you can create a static site with angular